And not for the first time this past few months, two-time All-Star Ja Morant made headlines for the wrong reasons. He has been embroiled in a series of controversies that cost him not just eight games, but also $39 million in bonuses. And while he claims to have changed for the better, he is back at it again. Join me as I get to discuss why Ja Morant is hell-bent on ruining his career. Controversies. Summer of Troubles. It's tough trying to figure out and understand what is currently happening to Ja Morant. The Memphis Grizzlies guard antics off the court are hurting his young career at an alarming pace as he gets right back to another controversy after leaving another big one. In any case, the 23-year-old NBA player's trails of big controversy started in the summer of 2022. In July of 2022, Morant's mother, Jamie, got into a verbal dispute with a store employee at a finish line shoe store at a Memphis mall. According to a Memphis police report, she called Ja, who soon showed up with a group of around nine people, yelling and threatening the shoe salesman. Confronted by the director of mall security, Morant and his friends refused the security guard's demands to leave the mall parking lot. According to the police report, Ja Morant said, let me find out what time he gets off, as he left the premise. Surprisingly, just four days after the incident, Ja Morant was involved in another incident that involved the police. Joshua Holloway, a 17-year-old high school athlete, claimed that he was jumped on the court at Morant's residence by Ja and his friends. He left with a large knot on the side of his head. Holloway further claimed that Morant's sister joined the fight and began to kick and punch before Ja subsequently flashed a handgun in his face. Interestingly, just as the summer was about to end in September, a third Memphis area police department handled another Morant-related incident. This time, the disturbance was at his sister's high school in Germantown, Tennessee. His sister, Tania Morant, and another student were involved in an altercation during a volleyball game, causing Ja, his parents, Jamie and T, and several unidentified men to show up to the game to threaten the student. Officers at the scene reportedly attempted to de-escalate the situation when a member of Morant's group allegedly rushed past one of them, slapped a student's cell phone out of his hand as he tried to record, and threatened to beat them. Sadly, months went by without any action from the public or news coverage of the accusations against Morant. Detectives assigned to the case avoided probing the basketball star with important questions even after he was sued. The police report recorded the name of his mother, Jamie Morant, as unknown. Shielding both her and her son from public scrutiny and strangely packed, Morant's best friend, who the child claimed had struck him in the jaw, was also left out of the report. But in an unexpected twist of events, just a few months after, John Pack brought their off-NBA shenanigans to the league. Altercation with the Indiana Pacers. On January 29th, while the Memphis Grizzlies were playing the Indiana Pacers, Morant's father, T, and Pacers guard Andrew Nemhard got into a verbal altercation. And as the argument escalated, Jaw and even Pack rushed onto the court to yell at Indiana Pacers players. Pacers guard Chris Duarte and forward James Johnson were also involved in the altercation before Pack was removed from the game. Interestingly, even after he was removed from the game, there were reports that Pack aggressively confronted members of the Pacers party near their team bus, and later on, a person in an SUV, which Jaw was riding in, supposedly pointed a red laser at the Pacers bus. A security officer positioned near the parking lot and a few Pacers players claimed that they thought the laser was attached to a gun. But after looking into the event, including analyzing security tape, the NBA stated that it could not confirm that any individual threatened others with a weapon. And even though the league never disciplined Jaw for his actions, they certainly banned Pac from attending games at FedEx Forum, the Grizzlies Arena. However, in a surprising twist of events, the guards' luck with flashing guns ran out almost a month after the Pacers incident flashing gun. In the past year, Ja Morant seems to have made flashing a gun a habit. And while he was never charged or caught in earlier accusations, he got into bigger trouble for doing so in March 2023. In the hours after the Grizzlies lost to the Denver Nuggets, the guard went live on Instagram in a Colorado strip club and flashed a gun while singing along to Bring Him Out by the rapper Youngboy Never Broke Again. The gun was said to have absolutely terrified some of the strippers at the club. Nonetheless, after looking into the incident, the police concluded that there wasn't enough proof to bring charges against him. The NBA also opened its own investigation since taking guns on team road trips is a violation of league policy. In any case, he received an eight-game suspension after that and was later left off of the All-NBA teams, costing him $39 million in bonuses from his contract extension. Anyways, he issued an apology for his behavior, explaining that he was taking some time away from basketball and that his actions were not a reflection of who he is. Even though he apologized, he didn't seem to be repentant in any manner, as he was caught with a gun again on Instagram Live video in less than two months. While Jaw was driving, his pal Pack went live on Instagram rapping alongside him, 
and when Pac made a gun gesture, the camera quickly moved across to Jaw, who is now holding a real gun in his hands. The incident was appalling to many who couldn't understand why the All-Star Guard kept making reckless decisions that were inevitably damaging his young and promising career. Unsurprisingly, the NBA launched an investigation into the incidents, and the Memphis Grizzlies announced that Ja Morant has been suspended from all team activities following the incident. Leaving the question, why is Ja Morant ruining his career? Why is he trying to ruin his career? Unlike most NBA players who grew up in the hood in violent homes, Ja has no excuses for his behavior, as he grew up in a good neighborhood and great family. He was born in Dowzell, South Carolina, and while his parents were not particularly rich, they were far from poor. His father, T, decided to stay at home and raise his son with Jamie Morant instead of pursuing his own basketball goals in Europe. So, unlike DeMar DeRozan, Nick Young, Dwayne Wade, or even Jimmy Butler, he did not grow up in Compton, lose his brother to gang violence, have any of his parents use drugs or alcohol, or even have his parents kick him out. He simply had a proper childhood and upbringing, so why is he trying to destroy his career? The honest answer is that he's trying to prove what he is not. He is trying to form gangster. And sincerely, Ja Morant wouldn't be the first NBA player to want to act gangster or to have simply flashed or even got caught with a gun. Sebastian Telfair, a former NBA prodigy and guard for the Celtics, was charged with gun possession while playing in the league. When he was on the Portland Trailblazers roster, he was caught with a loaded gun in a pillowcase back on the team plane. Delonte West is another name that comes to mind, while Javaris Crittenton, a former NBA player, serves as a prime example of the worst-case scenario. Javaris was a model student who led his class in high school, worked at a law firm, and was a member of the future business leaders of America. However, things changed for the worse once he entered the league, as he got involved in the infamous and career-ending altercation with his Washington Wizards teammate Gilbert Arenas. Javaris was later sentenced to 23 years in prison for the death of Julian Jones, a 22-year-old mother of four who was shot when Crittenton opened fire on someone who allegedly robbed him in Atlanta. However, if you take a closer look at each of the names named, you'll see that they all had respectable upbringings but succumbed to the culture of needing to prove their toughness. Knowing that his previous crimes went unpunished or received only light punishment, Ja is simply experiencing an identity crisis and is determined to test the limits of his fame and wealth. Perhaps he will stop when he realizes that the consequences go beyond just losing $39 million, but he can simply lose everything in the blink of an eye. Ja's looming punishment. Right now, it is unclear what the NBA is going to do about Jaws' latest incident, but the NBA commissioner Adam Silver has commented on the situation. He noted that the league investigators had uncovered additional information, and Jaws' behavior, though not illegal, did not meet the NBA standard. He further stressed that the point guard's case is about gun safety and not a legal or political matter, and that he understands the severity of the circumstances because such behavior was unexpected of him after he had just been cautioned against it less than two months earlier. In any case, Silver said that Morant's potential punishment would be announced soon after the finals. Why do you think John Morant is trying to ruin his life? Do you think the NBA's looming punishment will be grave? Let me know in the comments section.